Hi, Joe from Core here, and if you watched part one of our high voltage discussion, you'll realize that high voltage isn't that scary as you originally thought. Today we're not talking V mount, we're not talking G mount, we're talking B mount. All right, there's those stairs again. Now let's talk through this. As I told you before, relax, take a breath, let's jump on the B mount train, see what the format is, how it can help you streamline your production, and if it's the right choice for you. As we touched upon in our last episode, Arri launched the LF in 2018 and there was a scramble for high voltage solutions for that camera. While there were some options available, none were great and most of them were adaptations of what was already on the market and never intended to power a high voltage camera that had such a high power demand. This was the catalyst for Core releasing its dual voltage Helix line back in April of 2019. Taking a step back, Arri and Core met earlier that year to discuss a new battery format. Similar in function to the soon to be released Helix system, utilizing a different mechanical engagement system dubbed the B-Mount. Fun fact for you, Core actually had the first fully functional B-Mount battery back in 2019. We even showed it at the BSC Expo in London back in January of 2020. The B-Mount system was designed to provide a super robust mechanical connection to the device's plate and also has a fortified electrical connection to sustain the increased power draw of all the new devices in the marketplace. Now you might be saying, my current V-Mount or G-Mount system works just fine, and if so, that's great. There is some information out there about some poor battery connection and loss of power with V-Mount or G-Mount. Now those problems tend to arise from less proficient, non-mainstream brand battery makers who just aren't fully testing the packs or making them correctly. And they're just pushing them out in the marketplace at a low cost to make a quick buck. Myself coming from the rental industry, have seen these non-mainstream battery packs used on my equipment many times and have cringed at the results. Core, as well as other mainstream brands, focus on the quality of design and production of our V-Mount and G-Mount packs so you won't have these concerns with our batteries. But let's get back to the B-Mount. Aria is vetting manufacturers of the B-Mount based on competency and the ability to make sure that the B-Mount experience is consistent throughout the industry. What they are fostering is one standard to ensure that your B-Mount experience is the same no matter what pack you choose. So B-Mount is a robust mechanical and electrical form, but how does it work? B-Mount packs mount on the operator side of the camera and the release mechanism is found in the battery pack rather than the mount plate. This has allowed Aerie to reduce the depth of the mount plate significantly so that when you don't need a battery pack, like on a gimbal, you'll have plenty of clearance on the back of the camera. So it slides on from the left and clicks into place. One of Core's concerns from the get-go was the release mechanism in the battery pack. What if that were to break? This is why we made our release mechanism entirely out of aluminum rather than plastic so it will not wear over time. Just to be sure, the mechanism is nowhere near the electrical context so you don't have to worry about shorting. Once locked onto the mount plate, the plate will communicate with Core's Helix B-Mount battery pack, similar to how it talks to a V or G mount, what voltage to output. If the mount plate is for an Alexa 35 or LF, it'll tell the pack to output high voltage to the camera. If it's another device that utilizes low voltage, it will receive low voltage. You'll receive up to 10 amps of unfettered high voltage power from a Helix B-Mount battery pack. This is enough power to drive the Alexa 35, fizz motors, monitors, wireless transmitters, etc. In low voltage, the voltage is halved and the current is doubled, so you'll receive up to 20 amps. Now that we've discussed power delivery, what about communication? The B-Mount packs utilize the standard SM bus communication system like V-Mount, so you'll receive percentage and voltage information. But hopefully with updates to the camera, you'll receive runtime in hours and minutes. Course packs already support this feature, but keep in mind, the handy LCD on the back of the Helix B-Mount battery pack will give you accurate runtime readings. Core's B-mount packs can also be firmware updated through their USB, so if there's any changes to the camera down the road, we can quickly develop a firmware to maximize the utility of the pack with the camera. We currently offer a 98 watt hour and a 148 watt hour version of the B-mount battery pack. We are also working on larger capacities to be released later this year. I think we've covered what the battery packs are and how they work, so let's move on to charging. You will need to purchase a new B-mount style charger for these packs to accommodate for the new mechanical form but your core experience will be virtually identical minus the mechanics, obviously. We have a two position GPMX2B travel charger for these packs, as well as a Mach 4B, a flat base style four position charger. We will also have our Mach 4 Micro, a fleet management B-mount charger just around the corner and shipping in July. The travel charger will charge two 98 watt hour batteries in approximately four and a half hours. Both Mach 4s offer some of the fastest charge times in the industry and will charge four 98 watt hour batteries in approximately 90 minutes. As for using B-mounts on other devices besides the Alexa 35, you'll need to adapt your current equipment to streamline production to one battery system. 
This sounds like an investment up front, but we foresee B-mount being a staple in the industry in the future, so it's probably an investment worth considering. The really interesting and cool aspect of the B-mount is that it's just the beginning. Aerie has put a significant amount of resources in this new battery form, so we do foresee extended support from them on further fostering the system. And as for Core, we intend to do what we always do in pushing the envelope in battery technology. And with a partner like Aerie, who's focused on battery integration, you should be excited and looking forward to increased support and innovation on B-mount in the near future. Well, that's it for me on this high voltage episode. Look out for part three coming out next week. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below, hit us up on social media, drop us an email, or give us a call.